This is in brief response to Bob's um, video from a few minutes ago. Um, one, the situation you're trying to talk about is so confused that whatever you say will be inevitably confused. Um, it's impossible. Uh, it, nothing you say is... It's a mess. Even if we've got a team of learned academics on the situation, talk at length and historians, the human tragedy of it would be so immense that whatever they said would be overwhelmed by that. Whatever pertinent points they made would also be overwhelmed by that. I have this to offer, though, from a, a favourite poet. He's talking about an entirely different situation and an entirely different place, but there are some similarities. This is by the Irish poet Louis McNeese, who was from a moderately unionist background, a background in many ways entirely unlike my own, but He's also a favourite poet of mine. Dublin, Louis McNeese. Grey brick upon brick, declamatory bronze on silver pedestals. O'Connell, Grattan, Moor, and the brewery trug, tugs and the swans on the balustraded stream. And the bare bones of a fanlight over a hungry door, and the air soft on the cheek, and porter running from the taps, with a head of yellow cream, and Nelson on his pillow watching his well collapse. This was never my town. I was not born or bred nor schooled here, and she would not have me alive or dead. But yet she holds my mind with a seedy elegance, with her gentle veils of rain, and all her ghosts that walk and all that hide behind her Georgian facades. The cat calls and the pains, the glamour of a squalor, the bravado of a talk. The lights jig in the river with the concertina movement, and the sun comes up in the morning like barley sugar on the water. And the mist on the Wicklow Hills is close, as close as the peasantry were to the landlord, as the Irish to the Anglo-Irish. As the killer is close one moment of the man he kills, or as the moment itself is close to the next moment. She is not an Irish town, and she is not English, historic with guns and vermin, and the coal renown or fragment of church Latin of an oratorical phrase. But oh, the days are soft, soft enough to forget the lesson better learned. The bullet on the wet street, the crooked deal, the steel behind the laugh, the four chords burn. Fort of the Dane, garrison of the Saxon, Augustine capital of a Gaelic nation, appropriating all the alien boar. You give me time for a thought and by a juggler's trick, you poise a toppling hour. O grayness run to flower, grey stone, grey water and brick upon grey brick. Obviously, Ireland's war and the violence there was on a much smaller scale than the absolute horror show we we're seeing unfold. But the the way the those are, who commit violence are linked forever in chains to each other, whether they like it or not, is a point I think Louis McNeese makes very well there. Whether anyone will ever move on or not from what we're seeing, who knows? I've said before, I have no great wisdom to offer on the situation. I'm almost at the point where I distrust anyone who does. I just hope we will at some point see some end to, the, to what is essentially an unfolding horror show.